Hi everyone, it's Sunday afternoon and as you know yesterday I canned some of the potatoes. Today I'm going to dehydrate them and there's a little extra processing going on here but I want to use these potatoes that Sam dug up yesterday as quickly as possible while they're at their freshness. Um, we have an Excalibur dehydrator that comes with these um, trays with the little mesh sheets and you can also make fruit leathers and all that stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'll wash these really good and then I'm going to cut them but I'm going to use, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use my food processor which is really old but <laughs> I'm going to cut them about a fourth inch thick and then I'm going to blanch them. So I didn't know uh, I've not done this before. We're gonna it's another experiment. But I thought you might enjoy coming along with me on the way. Now I'm no expert at this dehydration of potatoes. Like I said, this is my first time. But I have washed them and gotten them all ready for the food processor. Bear with me one moment here. And the only drawback to using the food processor is this upper I don't know if I took that off. Um, the upper slot where I have to feed the potatoes in, I may have to do some trimming. Now this one happens to fit, but um, that's about the only thing I'll have to do. I did go ahead and make a bowl of lemon water uh, to put the slices as I cut them in here because my water's on the stove um, cook, or heating up um, to the boiling stage so I can blanch them. And then I'm going to have a bowl of ice water to take them out of. So it seems to me this process with the dehydrator is the only extensive part of preparation. Once you get them in the dehydrator, you're good to go. But um, these, these next few steps are crucial, I believe, to not having brown dehydrated potatoes. <laughs> and while I have the speed of the food processor, which sliced these in perfect little one-quarter inch slices really fast, I think this is going to be a long, pro a little bit longer process because I have to wait and do it in batches. So I'm just waiting for my water to boil, but I wanted to show you how nicely it would have taken me forever to slice potatoes in this range of thickness. So I am thankful for that modern technique. Okay, live and learn. I'm doing the red ones now. And I have streamlined this from learning yesterday. I don't need all those bowls of water. I filled, I washed, I wiped the sink out really, really good. I washed it just with soapy water. And I put a big chunk of ice in there. So what I do is come over here to my little food processor. My little ancient food processor. And, um... I'll show you how quick it does it. I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but you get the gist. And typically I have this pushing it down. At any rate, I take it from there, each batch, into the hot water to blanch. Then when I'm ready to finish one batch, I'm just going to put it in the sink until I'm ready to load up my dehydrating trays, which are over there. I did do the white ones. They turned out good. And I'll show you a picture of that, a little video of that at the end of this video. But I did want you to know that I think this is an easier, less messy way of doing it. So, just a little tip. Hello, it's Monday morning, um, J July 17th. <laughs> I'm just checking, and I just took my dehydrated potatoes out of the dehydrator this morning. So, I set the dehydrator at 125 degrees for, it said, 9 hours. It might have been in there, maybe at 11 but I didn't get any that were too um, leathery or that felt like they weren't done. Any little bit of moisture will ruin a whole batch. So they're all in good shape. They filled this 16 cup um, container. So good way to store them. I can. It's just a little bit messy of a process, but um, I think it's going to be worth it. Have a good day.